Hello everyone, in this project we will learn how to use Rayx RYL R890 LoRa module with Arduino. The Rayx LoRa transistor module features the LoRa long range modem that provides ultra long range speed spectrum communication and high interference immunity with minimum power consumption. Earlier we learned about the LoRa module SX1278 and its interfacing with Arduino through SPI pins. But Today we will learn about the UART LoRa module. The UART LoRa module can be used with any microcontroller using only 4 pins. The LoRa module RYL R890 communicates up to the range of 10 to 15 km. It is designed using the best noise reduction technology. The LoRa module can be easily interfaced with Arduino board, ESP8266, ESP32 or any STM32 microcontroller. The power congestion of this module is very very minimize. So, in this tutorial, we will first make a simple Arduino LoRa transmitter receiver circuit and do a point to point communication like controlling a LED brightness wirelessly using potentiometer. In the second example, we will send the sensor data wirelessly from transmitter to receiver. The sensor we are going to use is the BME280 barometric pressure sensor. This sensor can measure environmental temperature, humidity, pressure and altitude. So, without getting any delays, let's get started with the LoRa tutorial. Now, let us first learn about this LoRa module from Rayax Technologies. The LoRa module RYL R890 or RYL R896 from Reax Technologies based on Semtech LoRa chip SX1278 and STM32 L151C86 microcontroller from ST Electronics. The SX1276 chips operate on frequency of 868 or 915 MHz. If you remove the outer covering on this board, you will see that the SX1278 chip is interfaced to STM32 L1 microcontroller via SPI pins. The Rayx RYL R890 LoRa module can be easily interfaced with Arduino using the UART pins. The module is breadboard friendly and operates between 2.8 volt to 3.6 volt. It has a very small copper antenna with greater noise immunity for long distance wireless communication. You will at least need a pair of LoRa module or many modules for establishing wireless communication. There is a list of AT command that can be used to perform any task like sending the data or receiving the data or putting the device to sleep mode. You can learn more about the AT commands from the technical AT command documentation. I have attached the documentation part in the website article. So in this video, I have assembled the LoRa module with Arduino Nano on breadboard. You can use a custom design PCB for this application. Now, let's go through the product specification. So, it is based on Semtec SX1276 chip and it has a excellent blocking immunity. The receiver current is very low and it is having a very high sensitivity of minus 148 dB. It is controlled via AT commands. It has a RSSI of 127 dB. And it has a very small antenna that is integrated in the PCB itself. The data encryption is very good and is of AES128. As explained, the LoRa module is having a UART interface and operates on the frequency of 868 or 915 MHz. So its application includes the IoT applications and it can also be used in mobile equipment or home security system. Uh, in industrial application, you can use this for mon monitoring sensor data and for controlling the equipment. It can also be used as car alarm and so many other applications. Here is a front side and back side of the LoRa module. So on the front side, you can just see two chips that is a Rayx chip and the STM32 chip. On the back side, it has a reserve position for LED and register and also for the SMT1 connector. And when you see the pins, it is having a 
six pins. So in the block diagram, you can see the STM32 processor is uh, connected to a LoRa module via SPI pin. And then the one processor that is STM32 processor can be connected to other processor using TX, RX and NRST pins. So in the specification, you can see the power supply is between 2.8 to 3.6 with the typical voltage of 3.3. The RF output power is minus 4 to 15 dBm. The RF sensitivity, RF input level, the operating frequency and the frequency accuracy, everything is given here. The communication range is minimum of 4.5 kilometer to 15 kilometer as a maximum that depends upon the RF parameter. The transmitter current is 43 milliampere, receiver current is 16.5 milliampere and the slip current is around 0.5 microampere. All other details like digital input level, digital output level, cycling uh, and uh, weight, operating temperature, everything is given. You can go through the data sheets to learn more about this LoRa module. Now let us go through the first example. In the first example, we will control the LED brightness wirelessly using a potentiometer. So here is the transmitter circuit. We have a potentiometer attached to A0 pin of the Arduino and the LoRa TX and RX pin is connected to pin number 2 and 3 of Arduino via software serial. We have used a 4.7K and 10K resistor to form a voltage divided network as, as Arduino has a 5 volt output pins but LoRa supports 3.3 volt. So in the receiver circuit, the UART communication is still the same, but while talking about the LED connection, uh, the positive leg of the LED is connected to pin 5 of Arduino. So here is the assembly on breadboard. You can see the Arduino Nano along with the RX module and then a uh, couple of register uh, LED on the receiver side and potentiometer on the transmitter side. So when you rotate the potentiometer, the brightness will be controlled. But uh, before that, we need to upload the code to the board. So here is the code. So we have the first code. We have assigned pin number 2 and 3 as a software serial pin. And then E0 is defined as a pin for the potentiometer. And we have initialized the pin mode for potentiometer as a input pin. In the loop function, we are mapping the value from the potentiometer to the range of 0 to 255. And then the, we are just assigning a string and using the AT plus send equal to 0 function, we are sending the value of uh, potentiometer from the LoRa transmitter to LoRa receiver. On the receiver side, we are again using the software serial and we are assigning the LED pin as 5 and initial value of LED pin is 0 and we are initializing the LED along with the LoRa and then if the LoRa string is received then the LED brightness and will increase and decrease on the basis of the data that is received from the transmitter module. So that's all from the code section now the code is uploaded. So now you can see when you turn on the potentiometer the LED brightness will increase or decrease on the basis of the rotation. So when you rotate uh, to a small value, the brightness will be less. When you rotate more, the brightness will increase. And when you reverse rotate it, the brightness will completely go away. So you can see, this is how we can control a LED wirelessly using the LoRa trans receiver module. Now in the second example, we will send the sensor data so this is a BME 280 barometric pressure sensor uh, which has a I2C interface. So here is a connection. We have connected the SCL pin to A4 of Arduino and SDA to A5 of uh, Arduino. And the connection for the LoRa is still the same as on the receiver side, no sensor are connected. Only there is a connection between Arduino and the LoRa module that is a UART communication. So here is the assembly on breadboard. So this is a transmitter circuit uh, with BME 280 sensor and uh, this is a receiver circuit uh, with only LoRa module and Arduino Nano. So we will just write a code on the transmitter side to read the data from the BME 280 sensor. So here is code for sending the sensor data. So we have included couple of libraries include software serial and BME 280 libraries and then we have initialized the software serial. And in the void function, we have just reading the data from the library and we are converting the data to string value and we are and sending it using the AT plus send equal to zero command to the receiver. 
So, all the values from the transmitter is sent to the receiver after the interval of 5 seconds. On the receiver side, um, we are doing nothing but uh, waiting for the packet to receive from the transmitter and then the packet is printed on the serial monitor. Now, let us see the demo for this project. So, after uploading the code, just open the serial monitor on both the side that is on the transmitter and on the receiver side. So, here you can see the temperature is around 28, pressure around 940. T4, altitude around 588, humidity around 23. This is how you can send data wirelessly from transmitter to receiver. You can also see there is a minus written that is the RSSI. Okay, so that's all from the today's video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel and hit like on this video.